So much has been talked about as having a security strategy, but where do you even start to build one? Now, a security strategy is a really vital part of actually maturing your security organisation. Very difficult to know where to start. I think there's a very simple approach to this, and it does borrow from the playbook of consultants around the world somewhat, but it is an important step to actually understanding what it is you're looking to achieve. Step one is to establish your vision. What is it that you want to see your security department do? Now my rule of thumb is, if you can avoid having the word security in your vision, you're probably on the right track. And that's because the more aligned you are to the business rather than to security, the better your vision is going to be. And in fact, you should understand what your business vision is first before you even try to create your own vision. The second part of this is to establish outcomes. So you can choose one, three, five outcomes that you want to achieve from your security vision. The outcomes need to be fairly large, fairly broad, but also fairly defined. And that brings in the third aspect. Each outcome needs to have a metric and a value associated to it. The metric can be something very simple, such as will achieve X by Y date. It can be fairly subjective as well. These are very high level after all. It could be there will be a greater feel of security when walking around the organisation. Something like that, combined with some other types of metrics. And the final part, the value. What is it that actually is going to add to your organisation and your security team as a result of achieving this outcome? By mapping this kind of environment, what you give yourself is some simple milestones that you can then follow and try and achieve, which will help you lead towards your overarching security strategy. The strategy then itself is a little bit easier to start to achieve and even define in the first place.